All right, guys, I just watched the 25 minute video that Jay just put out and it is, it's heart wrenching at times. Um, I'm looking at him as a human being, as a person who has emotions and feelings. And I think deep down, he's a good person. He's gotten into trouble and he's made bad decisions, but I think deep down, he's a good person because we're all born good. And as open books or sponges per se, things that happen to us as children turn us into who we are today. In the video, he talks about how he was emotionally and physically abused as a child. And I 100% believe him when he says that. Now, this only comes after the footage of police knocking on his door. Now, he claims that in Canada, they can't arrest you when you're on your property, which I don't understand exactly. But supposedly, he'd need to leave his property and turn himself in. Because what he says happened is that Alexia willingly did tons and tons of videos with him as his girlfriend for four or five months. And then out of nowhere, she just up and vanishes. Deletes his content that they made together on his laptop, ups and vanishes. Now, the fact of the matter is, when you're abused as a child, mentally and physically, causing you to run away, get into trouble and go into jail, as he admitted. And this can happen with any sort of trauma or abuse. You can feel in your mind like it is okay to possibly treat somebody else in your life in that same unfair manner. I'm not saying he did or didn't hit her, but right now the police knocked on her door. Or sorry, the police knocked on his door and right now he has a warrant out for his arrest. And in the video he says he's probably going to go to jail for up to a year. And that he will do YouTube no matter what when he gets out. And I believe him when he says that he worked incredibly hard to get where he is on YouTube. And that without a high school education and arrest records at 16, he can't really hold down a job. I guess besides a fast food restaurant. I don't know exactly. However, Ica left him. Complained about abuse. Alexia leaves him. Complains about abuse. Her family gets consistently harassed. Because he put out a video claiming she died. Her Alexia's father begging Jay to take down the videos. Alexia begging Jay to take down the videos. And he won't do it until she leaves him. Because she can't take the stress anymore. I'm not saying Jay did or didn't do something illegal. I'm just saying that somebody with his past and with his trauma, I wouldn't put it past them. I think everyone deserves a second chance, and I think everyone has the potential to become a good person again. We're all put in this godforsaken world not knowing our purpose and he found his on YouTube and I'm happy for him for finding it. I understand he's scared right now. He feels trapped because he knows once he leaves his house, he's going to jail. He claims that even though in America you are innocent until proven guilty, he says it's quite the opposite in Canada. For all I know, that might be true. Either way, he did admit in the video, she's alive and she's well, which makes me happy and it makes me feel good that I can report that to you guys. Because that, that was my main goal when it came to reporting on this subject and this topic once I found out that she didn't really die and he wasn't admitting it. Or at least not in the way she, that he said that she died. So my, my, my heart and my mind is at ease in that respect. Um... And Jay has a lot, uh, a lot ahead of him that he has to deal with at this point. And I think the guy needs therapy, to say the least. And that's all I have to say. 
I'll let you guys know when uh, when we have more updates. Scarce reported on on uh, on my findings today. So thanks for watching.